Hey guys, welcome to my channel here, Liciously. Today in this video, I am going to be talking about finasteride. It's been over a year since I've taken finasteride since my hair transplant back in November of 2016. And as you guys know, finasteride is one of the few FDA approved medications for treating hair loss. And it's actually one of the most effective medications because it blocks DHT. Uh, DHT is what causes male pattern baldness. So we've heard from numerous studies that show different dosages of finasteride. And some studies do show that even something as low as 0.2 milligrams of finasteride reduce DHT by the same levels as the 1.0 milligram of finasteride. So I wondered if a higher dosage is always required and necessary to block DHT. Does that also mean that lower side effects will occur if you use a smaller dosage of finasteride? In this video, I'm going to be trying to explain what the optimal finasteride dosage is going to be for treating hair loss. A little background of how finasteride actually works. So finasteride inhibits the enzyme 5-alpha reductase, which is what converts testosterone into DHT. So no 5-alpha reductase means that there's not going to be any DHT, which means that there's not going to be any male pattern baldness. Finasteride was approved by the FDA back in 1997 for treating male pattern baldness. And Propecia was the brand name and they prescribed one milligram of finasteride per day to treat genetic male pattern baldness. And the one dosage of finasteride was found to result in significant increase in hair after 12 months. And a small percentage of people did suffer from various side effects, mainly in the area of sexual adverse events such as low libido, um, you know, problems getting erections. And since Propecia was approved, the one milligram dosage of finasteride was challenged mainly because of the increased reports of side effects. And to add to that, some studies have shown that lower dosages of finasteride have just the same effects of lowering DHT. So a study in 1990 tested various dosages of finasteride ranging from 0.4 milligrams to 100 milligrams. So part one tested daily dosages of 25, 50, and 100 milligrams for 11 days. And then part two tested 0.04 milligrams, 0.12 milligrams, 0.2, and 1.0 milligrams for 14 days. And ultimately, the test showed significant suppression of serum DHT at all dosages tested. But the study that showed that the length of time before maximum DHT inhibition was achieved did vary according to dosage. So in other words, a higher level of finasteride would lead to a significant reduction in serum DHT almost immediately while smaller dosages led to a cumulative decrease in serum DHT eventually resulting in similar DH levels to high dosages. So in other words, research show that different dosages of finasteride, even as low as 0.04 milligrams, might have the same DHT reducing effects as the one milligram or higher. It just takes a little bit longer for the smaller dosage to reach to the same levels as the higher milligrams of finasteride. So if DHT is suppressed equally by 0.04 milligram of finasteride as the one milligram finasteride tablet, it theoretically can just be as effective as stopping hair loss progression as well. Here's another similar study that shows reductions in scalp DHT levels with varying dosages of finasteride. The question that comes to mind is, could lowering the dosage of finasteride reduce side effects? Why would doctors prescribe one milligram of finasteride when 0.04 milligrams of finasteride has the same effect in lowering DHT. Theoretically, it would make sense if you lower the dosage of finasteride that it's technically gonna lower the side effects that people suffer when using finasteride, but this would actually be unlikely in practice. If 0.5 milligrams of finasteride reduces the same levels of DHT as the one milligram, then the side effects are just as likely to occur. And this is because a reduction of DHT is precisely what causes the side effects. It just takes a little bit longer for a smaller dosage to reach to the same levels as a higher dosage of finasteride. Smaller dosages such as 0.2 milligrams of finasteride or lower are likely to reduce side effects only because a smaller dosage would not significantly reduce DHT. So while the side effects can be reduced, so will the benefits for your hair. And because the effectiveness of finasteride lies in its ability to reduce DHT levels, the likelihood of side effects can be directly proportional to the benefits for hair maintenance and regrowth. So the other question that comes to mind is, do we have to take finasteride every single day? We know that the one milligram that's been prescribed by, by doctors recommend that we do take it you know, every single day. But we do know that the half-life of finasteride can be anywhere from five to seven hours. And this means that if you do take it every 24 hours, most of the traces of the drug are likely going to be removed before your next dosage. But this does not mean that you are going to lose its efficacy after the 24 hours. 
This is because slow accumulation occurs with multiple dosages of finasteride and a single dosage of finasteride can suppress serum DH levels for up to four days, uh, probably due to the high affinity that finasteride has for the 5-alpha reductase enzyme. This suggests that possibly taking finasteride once every other day or even every third or fourth day should have the same effects as taking it every day. The only drawback of not taking it on a daily basis uh, would be fluctuations in your hormones because taking finasteride on a daily basis is most likely going to keep your DHT levels and your hormones more stable, reducing the likelihood of uh, side effects from taking finasteride. So in conclusion, one milligram of finasteride undoubtedly works for treating male pattern baldness and it's very effective in most men who do take it for treating male pattern baldness. And based on the studies that we've seen, lowering the dosage to 0.2 milligrams of finasteride shouldn't be any less effective than taking the one milligram of finasteride and it probably won't reduce the incidences of side effects either. So technically you can get away by taking finasteride every three to four days because it's not likely going to have any significant effects on DHT levels. So I feel like, you know, ultimately it's gonna be up to you to decide, but since one milligram of finasteride has been extensively tested and trialed, it might be a good idea to stick with the one milligram, but I feel like even cutting the dosage to half of that to, you know, just taking 0.5 milligrams, most likely it's not going to affect the drug's efficacy in the long term. So guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave us some comments. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again and talk to you guys soon. Take care.